Ricky. Huh. We're already back. So, hi, guys. Basically, I just made this right after the other video. Video. So, let's just carry on. Shrub Destruct Wonder Day. Also, time for my daily tradition. Phew, phew. So it's far vaches. Yeah, but yeah, more strangers are not gonna help her. <laughs> Bambi. Come on, guys. I'm just going to see what's going to happen here. Just one, just one myself, but I don't want to spoil it for you. Okay, I read through it, and basically, yeah, Ulta's not getting taken. I guess was going to be taken away by the uh, more or less CPS. Let's not kid ourselves here. But yeah, she no, she stays because hey, we got a time travel story. Babies, let's read this shit. Da 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 da. -da. <sighs> the next morning, <laughs> Joe entered the dining hall to find Christy and Ulta already eating breakfast. Grabbed a tray and walked through the buffet and headed in their direction. Anyways. Joe... Pull out your next to Ulta. She wore a one-piece shaft with a ribbon in her shiny hair. Red sandals on match her pedicure oh toenails nor her feet. I dined wait, what the hell what's that word? Why can't you just combine the fucking word? I dined strains mar mar the image. I'll tell you, you look very pretty. Joe spoke down saw a lot of familiar words as he set his tray on the table. Also looked down and his skin darkened. Ah, blushed. <laughs> Joe frowned it. Had he used the wrong word? He looked at Alta's tray. It was filled with fruit and a muffin. How's the food? Alta bit her lip. I think she'll be okay now, Chrissy frowned at Joe. <laughs> Joe took a long breath as he sat. You know, couldn't he say anything right? Contrary on his eggs for the next few minutes. See, it became evident that Alta had picked up a few words of English and Chrissy a few words of Alta's language. Still, Jules found himself translating frequently and discreetly. We didn't want other people to know that he was a he could speak a language, I guess, for some reason. Please. <laughs> we were just about finished when Alex stopped by the table. The sheriff called. The S. The CFSD work caseworker should be here in a few hours. <sighs> Joe felt a tinge of guilt at his relief. What kind of life would Alta have in a foreign culture? Because remember, she was from 11th century America. You know, 11th century native, going to 21st century, century United States. That's not gonna go. There was Joe, Alex said. said. You only have a few clients on your sign-up sheet this morning. Why don't you spend it with Alta until the caseworker shows up? Or bribe your sons with bar vouchers to move to a different class or to join a trail ride? I'll stay with her also, Chrissy said. Hey, great, Joe said to Chrissy for a turn of his boss. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> After Alex left, Joe turned to Alta. Let's go look at the animals that cured you here, he said. Not close, he added, as her eyes widened. It would be good to at least get. Uh, it would be good to at least help her get over to get the. the oh, damn it! Fuck! <laughs> it would be good to at least help her get over her fear of horses during the last few hours together. Maybe you should work her, work her way through one fear. It would give her a head start on all, all stuff she was going to, she was going to face living in a strange culture. 
Not close, Altair. Not close. So I guess not up close. I guess. Yo agreed. Alta looked thoughtful and then smiled. Joe and Christy brushed, bust their dishes, and Alta scrutinized the commotion of the dining hall. Scrutinized like funky kind of thing. Oh, I was looking closely. By building, they headed toward the stables, crossing the manicured lawn that lay between the dining hall, guest services, and guest cabins. Near the stables, the grass transformed into brown bark dust, and finally to hard packed dirt. <laughs> Called these animals horses. Horses, Joe pointed towards so animals, inserting the English word horses, because, well, <laughs> nothing else would work in our language at the moment, you know, because horses don't exist exactly right now, you know. It's when nothing came to mind in Elsa's language. She, sl she slowed as they approached the stables. Joe matched his pace to hers. A quick glance showed Chrissy on the other side of Holta, Alta holding her hand. It was cultural space close for females in Elsa's world? Huh? Cultural space close. I guess personal bubble space? However, Joe explained that people rode on the back on the animals so that they could travel long distance without getting tired. They explained the equipment that made riding a horse easier. Because you can ride without any equipment, but not ideal. On the shade of a tree near the stables, they stopped and watched one family of guests who were, ri who were getting riding lessons. Alta seemed memorized, you know, the horses. Her roaming eyes kept returning to the sight of a young teenage girl riding around in the beginner's area. May I touch the horse? Horse? She asked at this moment. Oh no, she's turned to a fur. <laughs> Whew! Here you can, Alta, Joe said. Let's get a little closer. Now I'll get one of the older mares, I guess, horses. They're very gentle and like to be stroked. Joe left. Ulta and Christy stand an isolated section of the coral fence. It went into the stables, you know, of the horses, I guess. <sighs> what chapter am I on right now? So after this, I'm just going to go to chapter. Oh, you chapter fuck it. I, you know, I thought I was just going to chapter seven, but I'll chapter whatever. He's <laughs> whoever I want. Here, it's my channel. He's. Stand on an isolated center of the coral fence and went into the stables. This could be her last chance. If she got to stay here, she might never get to see a horse again. Joe saddled two horses. Maybe she could give him up to try. Joe led them outside and over to Alta and Christy. Christy gave him a questioning glance that he returned with a shrug. <sighs> here, Alta, this is Bambi and Thumper. <laughs> Joe said, Bambi a thumper? Christy eyes narrowed. Hey, I did not name who you're going to get. Also, if you want, I can leave Bambi closer. Yes, also said. Eyes oh, fixed on the two year old. Wee, wee, wee. Also reached out a hand as Joe led the mare closer. Bambi lifted her, her head and sniffed it. Also lifted her head and sniffed at Alta's hand. Can I ride Bambi? <laughs> Can I ride Bambi? <laughs> Elta asked in a quiet voice. A few minutes, Alex and Christy were mounted and walking in slow circles with Bambi, with Joe, with Bambi Lee Joe. It's with Joe Lee Bambi before she got sh Well, I think his mom. Ah, oh, shit. Now my nose not being able to breathe has transferred to the other nose hole. My other nose hole is now able to breathe. You know, air can go out of it, but the other nose hole won't. Oh, Jesus. Miss <laughs> Joe smiled at... Miss Joe smiled up at Ulta's beaming face. Whatever fate had in store for her, at least she would have this. <laughs> Hold on, guys, give me a second. What the hell? Uh. <laughs>
to the play bear now, guys. Let's go. <sighs> hey, Joe. A voice interrupted. Okay, you know, let's just see how long it is till the next Blinky chapter. Free pay? Okay. I can do this. <laughs> Joe turned to see Alex walking toward them, a smiling lady at his side. Joe glanced at Christy, whose face flashed in a frown before going blank. Hey, Elta, Joe said in a low voice, that's enough for today. I think there's a lady here who wants to meet you. Hello, Alex, <laughs> Joe said eagerly, in what he hoped was a normal voice. <laughs> Elta down, the way to one of the stable pokes, take care of the horses. Chrissy didn't dismount and the three of them left the coral against the pen where they were by the horses? Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, the pen. <laughs> okay. Good morning, old Tut, the lady said. My name is Linda. Fucking Linda. She's our little girl. You can't take her away. With the, Mo with the Montana Children and Family Services Division, you fucked off. She offered Alta her hand. Alta backed away, crowded next to Christy. Alta, Linda is a friend. Joe said in English, avoid any <laughs> knowledge of Alta's native tongue. Alta looked up at Joe. Her, her eyes bored into his. No smile, even though she knew the word. I guess the English word for friend. <laughs> Walked to her car. She said to no one in particular. They walked silently, except for Linda, who kept up an endless monologue about. About the home where Alta would be living till they placed her with her family. <sighs> Give me a second, guys. Sorry. Wait. I'm back now. <sighs> okay. Anyways, I'll just go to start back right here, does for me. Anyways. He walked silently, except for Linda, who kept up with him the small one, but their home where Elsa would be living until he placed her feet. You say that, right? <laughs> Joe felt Ulta slip her hand into his. A glance showed her other hand clutching Christie's. They got to the nondiscreet sedan with state license plates. Linda opened the passenger side door. Dr. Curry, you need to make the ride in town. Us girls will get along just fine, although you can't speak a language at all. Then she reached out and touched Ulta's shoulders. To say goodbye to these nice people. <laughs> Joe squatted down before Alta. My chief tells me you must go with this his woman. Uh, he whispered in Alta's language. She is a friend. Where he cut through his core. Alta has to say before she let go of Joe's hand and then Christy. She walked towards Linda. Linda's smile, the smile broadened. She took Ulta's arm and started to lead her to the passenger seat. Okay, now he belongs here. <laughs> uh, Ulta's eyes widened. Joe stepped forward. He'd never been in an automobile. She didn't know what the funk it was. Joe scurrying and rushed around from Linda's grass, stopping in a circle, she ran to Christy with long arms around her. Help me, she cried. Joe knelt beside her. It held her shoulders. After a minute, she unclasped one arm and reached for Joe's hand. Because I want to hold her, Joe. And she drew in his shoulder in breath. I want to talk with Linda. That bitch. That bitch. As Joe stood and grasping Ulta's hand, they are walking away from the growing knot of staff and yes. I want to go home, <laughs> Joe said in a small voice. A chill swept over Joe. If the rich village was Alta's, her tiny family's most likely dead. Could he take her home? He looked up at the mountains. Red wash was barely visible, but it appeared normal. No mist. I'll protect you, Joe said, squeezing her hand. What else could he say? They walked side by side, behind the stables, past the workshops, and around to the front of the ranch. The SFSD car was gone. Christy and Brent sat on the administration building steps. As Joe 
and Elsa came into view. Christy rose and walked their way. The chair said Elsa stayed with me for another week, Christy said. Linda agreed. Michael died for some influence, although he did not sign my life away. Let me pause. Joe, I'm scared. That's what Christy said. Second, her eyes looked hot as she turned to Alta. Stay with me many days, she said in Alta's language. <laughs> it was time for my tradition, but I don't want to spoil it for you. Oh, come on. I'll take you for the ride. If you want, okay, you want, I'm just, I'm not going to spoil it. I'll just spoil myself and tell you about the spoilers. So this is not another chapter. This is just, uh, you don't see this, like it's part of a chapter or whatever. How long is this on the next fucking butt chapter? Not very long at all. Let's just finish this. Then I uh, put it, end it off. Joe looked up to see Brent at the doorway. Behind him, Larry stood staring over his shoulder at the crazy mountain. Coming in, Joe stood and screwed his chair toward Brent. Rubbing old Lance recently, Brent swung the chair around and sat. He leaned toward, leaned over the chair's back, maybe pull a sword out of a rock. Both his eyes were rose. What kind of silly ass question are you tossing out? Joe shoved a few dirty clothes aside and sat on a salad's bed. <laughs> Ray passed being disturbed by the condition of your mere ass. Larry entered the room and looked around. But what? Larry already there. He tried to lower himself onto the floor. Got Joe living his nine years. We got young one from some other time and place. <laughs> now we got some person I'm speaking some unknown language. But Chrissy's not just scared, she's terrified, Ben said. <sighs> Hell, this whole thing is blowing up. Joe stared at Joe stared at nothing. Chrissy's clearly evolved. Responsible, but what, what could he do? What did she he un when did she un start understand when did she start understanding Elta's language? Joe shook himself and then looked over at Ulta. <laughs> when Ulta was screaming at the S F S D lady's car. Let's get back to Brent's question, Larry shifted on the floor. Did you do anything unusual lately before your little jaunt up into the crazy? Nothing but a few dreams. That and mess and all this time, but that was just as crazy as rubbing old lamps. Grace were apparently clueless and a young lady probably belongs elsewhere, Larry he frowned. Or else when he looked up from Brent to Joe. What are you going to do now? That Joe figured. It's a damn good question and has a good point to end it off, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. This is basically kind of a part one or two of the other audiobook, so that's like me this is just a little bit short, but Hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, Merry Christmas. So, see you guys.